Uh-uh. Ah. Jam. Have you ever wondered <laughs> why so people can navigate their emotional spectrum smoothly and while others often end up feeling overwhelmed with regret, guilt or shame? Hmm. Of course, numerous factors could explain why some people handle their emotions well, but there is one psychological construct that indicates how well we cope with unexpected and unpleasant events that generate emotional discomfort. It's called emotional maturity and unlike your personality or temperament, it's something that you can develop in time with a sustained effort. So if these five signs look familiar to you, you are emotionally matured. This is the Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch me. At number one, you get things done. You do not waste your time on feelings. If there is something right that needs to be done, you make sure it happens. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of people talk about getting things done, but don't actually get things done. So mm -hmm. there's a big difference. Uh, they say, eh, eh, I, I had it, nobody say you still get them. Mm -hmm. A bed in the end is worth more to. than 100 in the bush and yep. all the, yeah. Um, so getting things done is actually a very important sign that, that everything is gathered together up here. If you say, sorry, it was a song meant I meant, if he has said it, then he will do it. Yeah, so get it done. Thank you. Yeah, that's why they say walk the talk. <laughs> Don't just talk about it. See how we're getting quotes for all this. It's a <laughs> Wow. Yes, nah. Okay, yeah. so, um, so how, what I understand about this, and I have experience this firsthand mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't know how to think on their feet right yeah. so especially in production for instance film production you go on set you have everything planned and then the next thing things are going wrong mm -hmm. a lot of people start to panic and yeah. then you find people arguing and shouting on over each other as to what has gone wrong when at that moment you don't have time on your side so you have to think so this goes out to a lot of creatives at that at that moment yeah. just be emotionally you know balanced emotionally matured to know that you know let's get the job done mm -hmm. we're going to fight the fight after but at yeah. the moment let's get the job done mm -hmm. i yeah. agree okay and this leads us to the next one you are less argumentative and more accommodating there are times when you think you're right in an argument, but by winning an argument, you may lose a friend. So it may be advisable to refrain from arguing too much at this time. <sighs> and uh, J. Paul has already explained a bit of J. this. J. Paul. Yeah, over to you, over to you. Over so to this one happened on Saturday. <laughs> so, so, you know, there was traffic everywhere. Yeah. And wow. then our, our event people... AFC said, park your car, park your car, don't drive. There's park, no space like, to park, park at wow. um, a hotel. So I took an Uber. I had my assistant in front. So I was at the back. And by the time I realized what was happening, I said, you know what? Let me change in, in the, the car. car. All the calls were coming in and everything. You are late. You are late. So I started changing in the car. The guy who was driving, who did not know me from anywhere, he said, eh, so... You were just sitting there in the house and relaxing. So I just looked Wait, at that was him. what he said to yeah. you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did you give him one star? Yeah. Wow. Or no star? And I said to him, like, do you even know me that you're already judging me? And why do you have an opinion? Like, I, I didn't did. even ask you for your opinion. So those are the Twitter fingers. So the guy now says, oh, no, I was not judging you. I was just saying you could have prepared. I said, do you think that you know me? Because he starts to argue. I said, you're being argumentative. You're, you're arguing over something you don't even know about. To get, you don't even know. I said, my outfit only arrived when the Uber arrived. That was it. So emotionally, like some people don't even know yeah. when not to say what to say, or they just judge people. So you should have called me. Yeah. Don't worry about Let it. Me next come time, on. next come time. Next. That's why I said, ah, this one entered me. This eh, one eh, I really eh, felt eh, this one. Eh, ah, I call it Grace. All right. Sorry. So next one uh, on the daily top five at number three, you do not shy away from responsibilities. In fact, you not only try to perform your duties for your family, friends, or country, you also take care of Mother Earth. This definitely makes you a matured individual on this planet. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I'm a huge fan of this one. Yeah, I totally agree. I feel like uh, we should always look out for people around us. And no matter what happens, just do you. Yeah, go over and beyond anything that you put your hand in. If you, as long as you decided you're going to do it, just do it and do so it selflessly. The, the thing about this is that a lot of people take um, 
they abuse it and take it mm, for granted. That's right? the problem. So, and they also make you feel like, oh, when you're too hands-on mm -hmm. and you want to tidy an environment, it's OCD. Like they'll say, oh, it's OCD. You have OCD of wanting to just do everything. Mm. But this person is used to an environment, yep. clean environments, used to a certain thing. So when it comes and he notices that everywhere is untidy, yeah. they mm -hmm. want to make it, you know, but the, the the fear of being taken for granted because they know that you would always do it. Leave it they yeah. will not keep they living it that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know, so yeah, I'm knowing. Okay, so uh, where's Honey Pot? She's on this <laughs> table. You indulge more in reading. Because to be updated is of utmost priority in today's knowledge-driven society, and probably because of one of the best ways to get informed is to read. So if you're spending more time reading, this indicates you are serious about yourself, which is a sign of maturity. So why I said only for getting here is because she likes to read a lot. But then for those who do not like to read and you want to, maybe there are books that you've heard about and you want to learn about it. Some books have actually been made into movies. Mm -hmm. And there are also some books that have um, audio, audio books. Mm -hmm. So you can always listen to it the way you listen to music and you get the same effect. It might not be the same, but at least you would listen to it and get one or two things to learn from it. So there's a saying that if you want to hide something from a man, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to hide knowledge, knowledge. from a man, mm -hmm. yes. put it in, in a, a book. book. Yeah. Right, because people who people well, don't really yeah. have the reading culture. And this, this goes out to every, even to myself. I say to myself, usually at the beginning of the year, resolution, <laughs> I'm going to read so-so books, plenty books this year. Sorry, quick question. How many books have you read so far? Now the book they read me. <laughs> I've been reading one. <laughs> you've been reading one, and you've not finished. Okay, the Lord is your strength. At least you try. <laughs> and finally, uh, you wear a smile on your face. Life is a topsy-turvy event. It doesn't matter how hard scientists or researchers try to predict it. It remains unpredictable, whatever the situation may be. Wearing a smile has a positive impact on your body and mind. So if you're being found mostly with a smile, you should consider this as a sign of getting matured. Well, I just feel like um, always staying happy, having a smile on your face is the secret to good life. Mm -hmm. Because when you smile, when you're happy and you do away with negativity and focus on the positives, this doesn't mean that you forget the negatives, but just try to turn them to positives. This will make your life last longer. So I remember yesterday I was having a conversation with Dala. She was having a conversation with me. <laughs> Because me, I was... This one was not, was not so with, with, with she, us. She just kept, you know, there was a lot of stuff happening and she kept talking. Um, while she was talking, I couldn't hear. And then she just said to me, I like the way you're not concerned about anything. I was like, ah, you are doing that. life is life. It will continue. We'll solve this problem and we'll continue. <laughs> Yeah, so that was okay. it. Okay, you have okay. a problem and shall sorted, yeah? Yes, it's sorted. So At the end of the day. So you do not think too much. All right, it is a wrap on Daily Top 5.